no, 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 you've got it all wrong. You'll never be able to marry the prince if you can't do it. Make your stitches smaller. It's too complicated. We're just not meant to do needlepoint. Stop making excuses. Cinderella's perfectly capable. Just watch her and do as she does. Really, you two. No one in our family's good at these things. <gasps> what? <gasps> All these years I've been working to make you worthy of marrying a prince, and you squandered your opportunity. You couldn't even keep your positions as castle housekeepers long enough to meet Prince Charles. Now tell me, why is that? Maybe Jean and I aren't as sneaky as you, Mother dear. Nonsense. Finished! Oh, it's beautiful. How did you do it? Thank you. My mother taught me needlepoint. But it's not as perfect as hers. How can you tell? Looks perfect to me. Give me that. You're right, Cinderella. It does have a number of flaws. Anyway, needlepoint isn't everything. A young lady must know something about embroidery, but it's not that important. I thought you said it was. Yes, just a minute ago you What's said... What's really important are fashionable clothes. Otherwise, a young lady will never get invited anywhere. A perfectly tailored dress can transform even a country girl into a princess. <laughs> she sure is mean to Cinderella. She's wicked. Pierre, prepare the coat. We're going into town. We're going to see what new fashions our favorite dressmakers received. Then we'll buy you both a new wardrobe, sure, to please your prince. <laughs> Are you going to tease me all day? Just listen to my plan, okay? You play royal heir in my place, and I'll do your chores for you. If I thought you'd know where to start, I might take you up on that. Come on, Alex. You've pretended to be me lots of times. I'm sure you're even better at being the prince than I am. Say yes. I could really use the time off. I'll give you anything you want. I'll even let you have my hunting cap. What do you say, my friend? Forget it. You'd be a prince to help me. <laughs> this time, I'm serious. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Charles, no. Good morning, Prince Charles. Huh? Where are you taking those? Oh, I'm taking these clothes to be mended, your highness. And they also need to be laundered. The head housekeeper's orders, sir. Very well. Excuse me, sir. What's going on? I'm not sure. But that vest is brand new. I've never even worn it before. It doesn't make sense. Maybe she took the wrong one by mistake. Alex, will you at least lend me your clothes for the day? Only if you promise to be back before nightfall. Pierre, come back and pick us up in exactly one hour. Yes, madam, I'll be waiting for you. You two have permission to buy anything your hearts desire. Mother, you're so sweet. We're going on a shopping spree. He's over there. The prince is in the plaza. There's coach, he's coming. Oh, the oh, it's the prince. Come on. Did they say the prince? Hey, watch where you're going. Come along, darling. Yes, mother. <laughs> what exactly is going on? Prince Charles is taking a tour of the village. That's oh. what I heard. I see. Maybe we'll get to see him. I wonder if it really is the prince. It's impossible. I don't see the prince's coat of arms anywhere on the coach. You're absolutely right, Catherine. And besides, why would Prince Charles come without his escort? None of this makes any sense to me. We saw him just the other day at the castle, so if he shows his face, we'll know if it's him. That's right. Not only did we see his royal coach, but we saw him in person. We'll, we'll know. know. Long live Prince Charles. Long live our prince. prince. Who's that? Prince Charles, Charles, wait! Wait, 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 wait for, for us. us! It worked. They all fell for it. Huh? Oh. Oh. Hurry up, Catherine! Who are they after? Charles, I didn't even see you. Oops, you dropped your apple. Well, that's all right, but maybe you can tell me what all the fuss is around here. Didn't you hear? The prince is taking a tour in his coach. What? See, over there, everyone's chasing that's him. That's the prince? 
Those fools, that's not the prince they're chasing. It's impossible. Why do you say that? We all saw him, Charles. He peeked out from behind a curtain. Come on, I'll show you. You see? It's him. I don't care if you believe it or not. I know it's Prince Charles. It's so exciting. It's not every day you get to see His Highness in the village. I have to get to the bottom of this. That imposter's wearing the vest the chambermaid took from my room. Who could be behind this plot? Well, I guess I won't have to carry any bags full of new dresses for my sisters. They all went running after the prince. Oh, hey, that looks just like Hyun. Cinderella? Yeah, and did you get to see the prince's coach? You mean the one that just went by? Yes. I couldn't care less who was riding in that coach. What's the matter, Yan? You sound very unhappy. Can I do anything? Sorry, it's just that everything seems to be going wrong. <laughs> Someone figured out you're not a real fortune teller? Yes, I am. Oh, all right. Sometimes you're right. But tell me what happened. One of my friends has disappeared, and I'm worried. What? No, what happened? It was after I lent him money. Not that much, but for me, every penny counts. Thank you, Yan. I promise you won't regret it. I have a plan that's going to bring us a lot more than this. You'll see. I haven't seen him since, but I've known Marcel forever. He works as a comedian and actor. He lives close to me. He's a really good friend, and he'd never cheat me. I think something's wrong. Are you sure he's not off working in a play? Positive. I've asked around. You know what, Cinderella? Marcel looks exactly like your friend here. Really? I thought he looked familiar. There must be an explanation, especially if you don't think he betrayed you. The only way to know is to find him. I can find Jan's friend. They just have to follow. Let's go tell Cinderella. She'll understand. Oh, my goodness. What are you so excited about? You trying to tell me something? <laughs> Everything went according to plan. Excellent. So far, so good. Now we can continue our scheme. We managed to fool the villagers, all right, but I don't know if we'll be able to do the same up at the castle. My entire life I've worked in the service of royalty, taking care of kings and princes around the world. I can assure you, if anyone can teach this boy how to behave like a prince, it is I, Marvin Minch. <laughs> Sounds perfect, but you needn't worry. I can impersonate anyone, even Prince Charles. <laughs> No matter what happens, you must maintain your bearing. For example, if you drop your fork or your knife, you do not react. You remain seated and pretend it never happened. Sounds easy enough. Now, let's see how you fare with your utensils. Chow time! <laughs> oh, what are you doing? This meat is tough. I couldn't help it. I'll do better on the next one, Minch. Proceed slowly with no apparent effort. Delicious! Can I have a little bit more? This food really makes me feel like a prince. Ew. Right, right, left. No, no, you're supposed to put a turn there. Watch! Left and a half turn while keeping in time to but the music. it is right, left, and right again, isn't it? Oh! Oh! Sorry about that, Mr. Minch. I couldn't tell which was right or left anymore. I think we can save the dance lessons for later. He's all yours, Mr. Blade. Mm. Ah. Mm. Faster! Mm. This is an acting we're doing here. If you don't get serious, I will. Are you trying to tell me that my friend has something to do with the coach that we saw earlier in the village? It's all very confusing, Charles. Explain again. Keep it up, Patch. You're doing a good job. 
Let me just say that if my suspicions are correct, we've stumbled onto a terrible scheme against Prince Charles, and your friend could be in danger. Charles, this is no time for stories. That's right. We don't want any of your fibs. Where on earth did you come up with this idea? I can't tell you anything else for now. There's still only suspicions, for the time being. But soon we'll know for sure if we keep following your dog. That's the carriage we saw earlier. What would Prince Charles be doing way out here? If it really is Prince Charles in that building, there's something very strange going on. Do you think it could be an imposter? I've seen portraits of the prince, and I'm positive that's who I saw in the coach. I got a very good look. Well, if you're positive, then we have two princes. Two princes? We all know he's an only child. Let's get going. We got work Quiet. to do. Quiet! Someone's coming! We'll go along the river. It's safer. I know him. I could never forget that man's voice. Right! He's the one who held me prisoner. I think I know what they're up to. Come on, let's go! Okay. I think I'd better stay in case they need me. Your Excellence. No, no, bow your head, but never your body. For the hundredth time, you look like a duck. No. Is that Marcel? It looks like him, but Marcel doesn't have clothes like that. Now try to remember, you bow your head and just barely lean forward. I think I got it. Greetings, Madame the Queen! No, it's just Madame and tuck in your behind! <laughs> huh? Where did that? Huh? Who's there? What do we do now? He's gonna find us. Oh, 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 what's this? Oh, what's this? On the roof. Help! He's gone mad! He's going to eat me! I don't like dogs, Marcel. Take this butt outside immediately. Do you hear me, Marcel? It is him. I knew it. Go on, boy. You go home now. Hey! Huh? Yan, what are you doing here? How did you find me? First, why don't you tell me what you're doing dressed up like that? I'm being trained to impersonate Prince Charles in his castle. If I do what they tell me, we'll earn five times what you gave me. Would you mind explaining huh? what you're up to? Oh, I didn't see you. Where did you come from? And they told me that the prince was being threatened by some very nasty people, and that since I look so much like him, I could impersonate him for a while. <laughs> you really think you can pass for Prince Charles? Don't laugh. I've learned how to eat, how to dance, fence, bow, and talk like a prince. I could pass for royalty. I'm sure I know my part. You certainly do make a charming prince. <laughs> Marcel, Marcel, where are you? We need to continue your lessons. Oh, no. Hmm. I think that man needs to learn a little lesson. Where did all these dogs come from? Oh, oh, help! Oh, oh, what do you want from me? Leave me alone! Go away! Show doggies! Yan, who was that man wearing the hat? The leader of the group who rode away earlier. He's Prince Charles' bodyguard. He's very well liked by the royal family, and he's completely devoted to Prince Charles. Prince Charles' bodyguard, huh? Listen, Marcel, could I borrow your beautiful vest for a while? My... Charles, why would you want to do that? So he could take my place and keep the money they promised. Well, you can forget it! Wait! Marcel, that's not my intention at all. It's just that if you don't convince people you're the prince, they'll... They'll what, Charles? Say it! Those men are hired assassins, Marcel. Somebody help! Marcel, come quick! Oh, I'm seeing things. First they were dogs, and now they're rocks and mice. What's going on? You took your time about it. While you were out doing who knows what, I had to fend off a pack of terrifying wild dogs. They nearly did me in. Now, I expect you to pay attention and do exactly as I say. If anything else jumps down from the roof, just remember to keep your royal bearing. Now, try a salute. Huh? Ooh. Did you see that? He did that very well. Looks like a natural. Yes, he's not bad, but it's hardly what I'd call perfect. You finally did it! Hallelujah! That salute was absolutely perfect! It's nice to see all my precious effort finally pay off. Now, let's go back to dancing. Remember, left foot first. 
Yes, then we step to the right and start again. Excellent! What a surprise! He's an excellent dancer. Yeah. Oh. oh no, they've come back. I hope they won't realize that Charles took your place. Well, you're back mighty early. Yeah, because Duke Zarl's given us some new instructions, Minch. What? He wants us to pick up the pace. Get the kid in today. If this pipsqueak isn't ready, you'll have to find a replacement and train him real quick. I knew it. Only Zarel could come up with a scheme like this. We won't be needing any replacement, Mr. Blade. When you hire Marvin Minch to make a peasant into a prince, you will not be disappointed. I have a perfect record. Come on, Marthale. Show Mr. Blade your salute. Huh? Okay, I'll start with the salute for visiting dignitaries, such as a king. Eee! <laughs> oh, twit, what are you doing? You were perfect just a minute ago! I learned how to dance, too. Come oh, on, Mitch. No. Oh, One, oh, oh, two, oh, three, oh, and four. What are you doing? And left, oh, and right, oh. and left. And one, and two, mm, and Knock turn. off! You're useless, the both of you! Oh. You're fired! Now, fencing is something I do like. <clears throat> You're not the prince's bodyguard, and this is all a scheme for Duke Zarel to take over the castle. I underestimated you, boy. You know too much for your own good. If you'd just been willing to play your part, I probably could have let you go eventually. But you had to decide to play smart. Charles was right. They're the ones who are imposters. I can't believe you fell for it. They won't get away with this. <laughs> Since when do you know how to fence, huh? I'll show you. Come on, Blake, show me what you've got. I'm ready. You're mine. Don't think you got a chance. I've beaten better than you. I hate to admit it, but you're the best I've seen, kid. We're with you, Blade. Stay back. I don't need any help against this little twerp. Oh, they're gonna pay. I'll bring it back. <gasps> What's going on? Ah! <laughs> Stay where you are! <gasps> I've come to avenge my honor! Marcel is showing great courage. I'm going to give him the edge he needs. Huh? What do we got here? I am the real, the one and only authentic Prince Charles from Emerald Castle, and I know all the details of your scheme against my family. What are you talking about? What? The real prince? On guard! Uh, <laughs> uh, what on earth is going on here? Where did he come from? And which of them is Marcel? Or which one's the imposter? Blade's <laughs> uh, in trouble! Let's go! Right. Uh, Whoa! Your turn to dance. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, 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 let me go. Stop the let me go. Get away from me. Help! Oh, blade! Oh. All right. That's enough. It's all over. Surrender! I don't like people who don't play fair. Hey! Oh, what? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, Blade! Blade! No, wait for me! Forget it, Minch! We don't need you anymore! Blade, wait for me! Stop! You can't leave me here! Wait! Oh, oh, we had a deal! Wait for me! Blade! Don't leave me! Stop! Please! Oh, oh, oh. We're lucky no one was hurt. Cinderella! Huh? You're all right, aren't you? They didn't come after you. I'm fine, Charles, thank you, but I do have some questions. Where did you learn to salute and dance and fence so well? And I want the truth this time, Charles. Oh, uh, yeah, you should go into acting, Charles. You were much better than I was. You really could pass for Prince Charles. <laughs> Thanks, but you were very good too, Marcel. <laughs> anyway, Cinderella, why wouldn't I know all those things? We're all princes at heart, you see. Whether we live in a big <laughs> castle or a humble shack. <laughs> <laughs> it's even funnier that you both look like Prince Charles. And obviously that can get you in a lot of trouble. Once again, Cinderella nearly discovered the prince's secret. <laughs>